All right, my boys, welcome back to another episode of Master Duel. A lot of stuff has changed since the last time I uploaded a video. I think I uploaded a video about two weeks ago. Long story short, your boy has been sick and the son has been sick and we've all been sick. So it is what it is. I mean, can't feel bad for that. But my boys, we are getting back in there. Now look, the Duelist Cup is going on right now and I'm super excited because in the time that I've been away, the cards that I play at my locals have been released in the Master Duel for my DDD deck and then also I've perfected my Tri Brigade deck by mastering the power of the DeFloor cards, my boy. So you've got to see this deck to believe it, but we're going to just get right in there. Let's, let's just jump right in there. All right, my boy. So before I show you the deck list, it's much easier to explain as I just show you the combos and how the deck works what my first turn is like, and then what my final turn is like. So this is actually a God hand. This is a perfect hand. Opening like this is so good because I got the summoning storm in hand. That's a new tech that I'm using pretty much to help me summon out cards like um, Horse of the Floral Knights, and then also you can summon cards like Tri Brigade Nerval. Basically, you pay 800 life points. You can special summon a win from the hand. And while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to special summon another win from the hand, but not on the same turn you used it or it went there. So this is a really, really, really good card to help extend when you just got to play through one turn. But if your opponent doesn't um, stop you, then basically this card just becomes a one card Tri Brigade shenanigans. So let's continue to combo. If you didn't see, I used Rescue Cat to put out Tri Brigade Kit and put a Horse of the Floral Knights into the graveyard. By doing that, that's setting me up if I have to use um, the, da, 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 da. it helps me basically if I have to use Bear Broom's effect to discard two cards and bring a card back because I would be banishing this card um, to use Tri Brigade effects. So just pretty much check this out. So now we're gonna do the kit thing. We're gonna dump, we're gonna add, and then we're gonna go ahead and add another kit. We're gonna use Karis's effect to dump the kit and special summon the Karis. Now, again, note that I left a level two in the grave. Centaur meaning can summon level two, so you never know what your opponent has. So you gotta make sure you play every single card correctly, especially in this Duelist Cup. So you wanna make sure that if you banish cards and you have five cards, you wanna keep the level two in the grave everything else can be banished because you can bring it back. So here comes Shoe Rig. Shoe Rig comes out and we're gonna link those two off and bring out uh, the Bear Broom. Now Shoe Rig's effect is gonna help us to summon Horse of the Floral Knights. Now we're not gonna be digging to uh, special summon this back, obviously, because we got it in the hand. If all you ever need is a Horse of the Floral Knight in the hand and another Tri Brigade monster to finish the combo after you've done this, typically, you know, you wouldn't go into this combo uh, with your normal summon unless you had to go to this combo by Rescue Cat. But you can go through this combo with a Fractal into a Karis and then you summon the Karis and then you banish for and then you bring out the Frigid and then that'll just be without a normal summon, which is ideal. So I can show you that in a different uh, clip. So basically, now we're gonna summon out Horse of the Floral Knights, use the combo to grab the Spear Holder use Horse of the Floral Knights to fusion summon. What I really love about this is it's giving my opponent a lot of opportunities to do something so that anywhere along this combo, I can stop and pivot into a smaller version of the combo. But my opponent doesn't have anything, so I get to go absolutely crazy right now. So I'm gonna use Centaur Mina's effect to bring back the Knight, pop the Knight's effect to bring out the Fleurit de Fleur. So this card is Premature Burial, but it also um, equips to a Synchro Monster. And basically, once per turn, this, when this card is sent to the grave, it, you can bring it back and equip it to another Synchro Monster, which is absolutely disgusting. So basically, this card floats with the Synchro version or the Synchro points of this deck, which is about to get disgusting. So we're gonna activate the spell bring back our monster, and then we're gonna sink it off and bring out Borolode Savage Dragon, my boy. Now, Borlo Savage comes out super equipped from the grave, and you're gonna get the Florette de Fleur, and then you're also gonna get a um, Shuri. So together, that's 5,200 
uh, points. That's a 5,200 point boost with these two cards, which is absolutely amazing, meaning that this and shoe rig is just game all on its own. But let's go ahead and put some more pressure. And then we're gonna go ahead and use that summoning storm to banish two and put out a ancient warriors uh, oath of the dragon lords. Now we can follow up with our Opelousa stage three and use our uh, bear Brooms effect to swap out that imperm for a um, a uh, the tri brigade trap card to get shoe rig out and claps you for game. Now what I love about duelist cup. You, your opponent is incentivized to play through and I love it. You know, they get to play through. So finally I get to play this combo out. So he activates his adventure broken token engine. We're going to go ahead and negate that with Opelousa because we want to preserve the option to use our Omni negate when we need to use it. Then he's going to use this, Well, we're going to have to stop that off rip. We can't allow virtual world to stand up at all, but now he's going to chain emergency teleport scared the mess out of me thought it was a droplets but he would have used it previously if he had it so now we're gonna pop the tri brigade revolt because now he just put that virtual world card on the field and we know what he's playing so we're trying to keep his field nice and naked so he can't get any of that virtual world crap out so here comes the shoe rig shoe rig's gonna come through with the banish but we're gonna chain block and use nervous effect and that's what I really found out too. Another good thing to point out, Borlo Savage Effect can be interrupted, but you can use uh, Floret de Fleur to block for Borlo when you summon him out because you're gonna get Borlo's effect and Floret de Fleur's effect. And basically Floret de Fleur chain blocks for, for Borlo and then you super equip him, which is why he's sitting here 52 and chilling. Now we're gonna go ahead and banish that card and then add a plus to our hand. And then now it's gonna get interesting because now he's gonna put this out. And when he puts this card out, I'm thinking, oh, he must have the uh, the uh, the um, equip spell. He must he, he must have the bounce. But I'm not gonna let him put a token out because people get crazy with tokens. Now what's interesting about this when I'm using the oath of the dragon lords? Basically, if I pop off Floret the floor, it's gonna super equip back to my synchro monster. But if I send off tri brigade shoe rig it's gonna actually activate its effect and allow me to search my deck for a dd crow which you know is just even more interactions on the opponent so you see how busted this is but i don't need dd crow so we're gonna get rid of that token and super equip back floret to floor he's gonna search his deck for another water enchantress that's not gonna do anything for him and then he's gonna go ahead and summon his monster at the equip spell which okay i see now he uh, didn't have it, and then that's what he had in his hand, and we go ahead and negate that with Appaloosa, the goddess bow, and that's a GG. Thank you very much for playing. Um, on that same token, you know, if you're playing against this deck and you opened up with um, Forbidden Droplets, you have to Forbidden Droplets for three and deal with the shoe rig. That's a lot of cards. Forbidden Droplets for three is four cards, and then dealing with shoe rig too, uh, that's that's just a lot. This is a lot of stuff you have to have to stop that if you didn't get anything going. So that's pretty much my combo. This is my locals combo, man. We get in here with this combo. All right, so I got another one for you that I think that you would probably really like too, because basically this is showing like the short version of this combo. It's the same uh, type of deal, but pretty much I'm using this card, the Heritage of the Chalice, which I really like a lot. And then also my opponent is gonna respond in a different manner that doesn't necessarily play 100% into everything that I have. But primarily either I'm gonna, one or two things, I'm gonna get the combo off and stump my opponent out, or I'm gonna have to battle them and use stuff like shoe rig and defloor to uh, pretty much just clear the board and get them out of here. You know, the, the standard combo to start the duel is to summon out uh, Appaloosa, but of course to finish the duel, you'll summon access code. So as you can see, I'm executing this combo perfectly. 
and um, I didn't start this one off. Oh, this was another rescue cat uh, combo. So basically, we're gonna just pretty much do the same thing we did last duel, but instead, um, we don't have the summoning storm. But we do have Max E and Imperm, which is also really good. So we're just doing a mini version of what we did last turn, which I would say is way more common, you know? Last, that last game was absolutely perfect and ideal, and it was gross and disgusting. But here we go. We're gonna use the Florette the Floor, and then we're gonna bring out the Borlo Savage. Here's the Savage. Super equip, chain block hood. So you go ahead and super equip with the chain block. Really spice. All right, really nice. So look, 52. Then we're gonna activate the, the effect to search the deck and add. And then we're gonna go ahead and activate the effect to search the deck and add our Hoppier Squadron. So look at this board. After I make a two stage Opelousa here, I'm gonna have a Hoppier Squadron to go into a, um, a uh, Baron de Floor, which I'm gonna use that, of course, obviously, if I have to use the Omni Negate. Then I'm gonna have a Revolt with a two-stage Appaloosa and a Maxi. Like what, like, what are you really gonna do, you know? Like, that's just a lot of good stuff, like, all together, and the opponent couldn't do anything about it. So obviously, here we go. We're gonna do our chain combo. We're gonna go ahead and add a card and see what we get. Oh, another Imperm, don't need that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the Revolt and then we're gonna send back the Imperm. Now this is disgusting. Like, so when you get a hand like this, it always kind of behooves you to max C as soon as they draw. Try to get that Intimidation Factor. Try to get your opponent to just scoop it up right here. Just max C, he doesn't scoop. That's the champion move. He sets for and summons this. So now we can have a little fun with this because first off this effect um, that goes off at the end of the battle phase. We can definitely negate that. And then also we wanna use uh, our tri Revolt Revolt to hit uh, one of these back row, obviously, because you know we wanna stop them before they get a chance to sit up. It could be skill drain, it could be anything. So we wanna try to stop these cards before they get up. So this card isn't a big threat, so watch how I play around it. So we're gonna pop the Revolt. We're gonna summon our monsters back. We're gonna bring out the shoe rig, of course, of course. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit one of those back row cards to see what we're dealing with here. So pop off shoe rig's effect along with the rest of our chain block combo. So you wanna always, always go blossom, search, and then shoe rig last. Cause shoe rig will get the banish. You'll add the card and then blossom will let you draw one and put one back. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the ash back. I put the ash back. Oh no, I wanted to get it. Yeah, I understand why I put the ash back. I put the ash back because I wanted to summon the fractal and then banish three and then summon a beast warrior and then banish another back row is what I wanted to do. So he's gonna activate that effect. We're gonna go ahead and just negate it. And then I think he activates the effect to go back into the deck, but I'm gonna go ahead and negate it anyway. Um, because basically I want to see what his response is gonna be. Uh, because we do have the banish now what's funny about this this is chain burn I don't know what he was thinking and I don't know what he was thinking about this But hilariously when you summon these three tokens as soon as I saw this card flip I just said GG because you summon these three tokens. They are beast type monsters and when you summon a beast type monster I get to banish a card on the field and you know who's gonna get banished or you know What's next one of those face down cards, but obviously I have the Omni Negate, so this monster's got to go so it's gonna be pretty spicy. And then also, like I mentioned to you before, this is 5,200 attack points. So 52 plus 3,000, what is that? Game time. So yep, gonna go ahead and negate this man. I'm gonna go ahead and yeet those cards. Get the effect to banish, and it's a standby phase, main phase, battle phase, get your ass out of here. So spicy, love it. Super, 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 super option filled deck, I love it. And now I also love how the, the field is destroyed and they get sent to the abyss. Like, I love that too. That's pretty spicy as well. <laughs> All right, my boys, I'm gonna show you this deck and show you some of the cards we got in it. I really think that you guys will enjoy this deck and enjoy playing and just getting in there with this deck. Basically, um, what's cool about the deck is that we are running a lot of core engine cards. So basically, if you think about it, we're running four uh, fractals 
Um, and then that's our special summon combo. So we got four cards that can lead into our special summon combo, which is gonna get us to Karis. We are also running three Karis in this deck. And you might wonder why. It's critical to always have this card. It's never bad to have this card. Um, late game, mid game, first turn, it's always a good card. So you should run three. The deck should have some kind of synergy between being having beasts and other things. Since we're playing Horse of the Floral Knight, it is a beast that plays into the deck. But we have two random warriors in here. We got a spellcaster in here. And then we got three zombies in here. So that does kind of clunk up the deck. So you want to make sure you run as many of these as possible. Now, Rescue Cat makes people activate stuff off rip. It's a normal summon card. If you normal summon a card and they can negate the normal summon card, typically some someone might have taken away your turn. But basically, because we have this along with uh, Horse of the Floral Knights, and then we also have um, our many ways to special summon cards, it's so many ways to play around and bait your opponent into doing something. And then once they do, you can go ahead and hit the Karis combo and just go absolutely bananas. Because once you get Karis out and then Karis can summon uh, Blossom, Blossom is gonna bring down Horse of the Floral Knights. And Horse of the Floral Knights is gonna give you anything you want okay it's gonna give you anything you want or it can even give you this with another level two monster what's really cool about Vylon epsilon if you did not know you can only make this card by using centaur mina and another uh light tuner but if you make this card equip cards to that are equipped to this card cannot be targeted by cards or effects they can't be targeted so basically, you know, nobody can remove the uh, Florit de Fleur from Vylon Epsilon. But while he's equipped with it, he can send an equipped card to the graveyard to target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. That's pretty busted. It can't just pop a card. So it's some nice random removal at a level in a level eight body. You know, obviously, you know, this would be a better choice in, in a pinch. But seriously though, if for whatever reason you need to just blow something up, this is a really great option. And then of course, if you if you have the Hop Your Squadron in hand, you could also go to Baron because it's a level eight. So you just got a lot of options and techniques in here. We're running two Centaur Minas because obviously, you know, you could lose one, it could be negated. It's possible that you could use a second one. Centaur Minas effect uh, also comes in handy too. It sets your opponent's trap cards after they activate them. So if your opponent activates skill drain, um, you can change Centaur Minion's effect and put the skill drain back down, which I have done. It's been some pretty spicy times, my boy. So yeah, I think, you know, honestly, uh, from this perspective of the deck, um, I thought the best way to increase its survivability so that we could get in is to add some big monsters that we could special summon that also were beasts. So I added three cards. I added White Steed of the Floral Knight that can also negate an attack. Um, I added uh, the Ancient Warriors Long Yun, and then I also added the Alpha the Master of Beasts. So basically Alpha Master of Beasts can bounce cards, the Ancient Warrior card can destroy cards and the white steed can negate attacks but also is a level six body that can be special summoned from the hand and searched by knights uh the noble knight shield bearer no knight shield bearer can search any wind level six or lower monster that means it can grab not you but it can grab white steed of the floral knights it can grab horse of the floral knights it can grab well it can't grab this uh <laughs> well actually no, it cannot, it cannot grab that. I'm tripping. It can't grab that. It can, uh, where am I? Oops, I lost it. Here it goes. Level six beast type. This is a wing beast. It can't grab this, but you get the gist. It basically can search out three really good cards in the deck, depending on my hand situation. It can be really advantageous. And then also I'm running summon storm. Uh, summon storm is so good. This card lets you special summon a wind monster from the hand, level six or lower. And then also if it's in a grave, you can banish it to summon another wind card. So this card is just a really, really powerful card that I'm enjoying playing in this deck, my boy. But that's it. 
uh, for now. If you really want to just kind of get in there and try this deck, I definitely recommend getting some practice in. You want to make sure that you understand the full combo. You want to understand that you can use your Tri Brigade cards in combination with the Horse of the Floral Knight cards to put up at least, at a minimum, four interactions against your opponent. Two monster effect negates, one omni negate, and a non-target banish. Sometimes that's enough, sometimes it's not enough, but that's why this deck can go beyond just three interactions, four interactions. You can get up to six interactions. You can have six interactions against your opponent. You can have an omni negate with your uh, Borlo Savage, then, of course, if you use Hop Ear, you can get the Omni Negate with the Baron de Fleur. You can have your Appaloosa sitting at, like, at least three to four. So that's busted, along with the Special Summon from the Revolt. And then also, if you used um, Hop Ear to uh, Synchro Summon with Borlo Savage, you can probably search with the shoe rig to add another dd crow so it's absolutely disgusting i love it this is my favorite deck right now i have so much fun playing this deck and i'm gonna have a lot more fun uh duel in the duelist cup my boy so i appreciate y'all for watching uh, i'll be back as soon as i possibly can and as always keep it dank <laughs>